Hello again, science classes. Uh, so in the last video, I showed you guys how to uh, just navigate CK12 in general. I'm trying to move my video to the, there, that's a good spot. Uh, but this part of the video shows you how to uh, do CK12 assignments. Uh, so the previous uh, part of the video did not look like this. I have this yellow turn in button now. So if you have an assignment, I'll make sure it's clear this that you're clicking on an assignment, not just the chapter. Uh, you'll see a yellow turn in button. Um, why is that there? So every CK12 chapter comes with practice. And so you can always do CK12 practice. Uh, just because that little there's a little start practice button down here does not mean that uh, you have to do practice. Um, again, I'll try to make it clear whenever I do assign a CK12 practice. But in this case, I assigned my class CK12 practice. Um, so to in order to do the practice, I have to press start practice. I'm going to go ahead and click on start practice. Let me just move my webcam over here. There we go. Uh, so it tells me estimated time to complete. I multiply that number by three. Do me a favor, always multiply that number by three. So if it says five minutes, it's probably going to complete about take about 15 minutes. Um, I, I guess they were thinking uh, that Albert Einstein was going to be taking these quizzes every time. I don't know. I'm going to click on start practicing. Um, so, all of, so all of these are based on uh, the reading. So what I would recommend is that maybe you open the assignment twice. Uh, and that way you can have one tab for the reading and one tab for the assignment, the practice you're working on. Of course, that's not going to work if you're on your phone. If you are on your phone, by the way, this should work. You should be able to do CK12 practice on your phone. I might show you guys in a separate video what CK12 practice looks like on your phone. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so the cool thing about CK12 practice is that this is called adaptive practice. Adaptive practice means that everyone gets a different set of questions. So if you're even if you're doing this as a friend, you guys might even if you're doing this with your friend, you guys might have different sets of questions. That's not to keep you from cheating. It's to help you guys gauge your knowledge. So let's just look at this question, for example. This question says, someone's subjective view or position on a subject is called what? So I know this is called an opinion, but let's just, I'm going to click on data. Uh, I got it wrong. Well, next. Now, if you look at the top, the top says 0 out of 10. It's always going to say 0 out of 10. Uh, sorry, that's, it's, it's not going to say negative 1 out of 10. Let's look at this next one. Facts and blank are not subject to bias. Sorry, facts and blank are not subject to bias. Uh, I think the correct answer is data. Yep, so now it's got 1 out of 10. I got one question correct. I'm going to get another one wrong intentionally. Which of the following is objective? So I know opinion is wrong. It's just less than apply, all that apply, which means I know there's more than one right answer. I know this one's wrong. I'm going to check. Click, check it. I got it wrong. Uh, now, see, so first of all, it kind of gives you these nice little motivational things. Got knocked down and get up again. And then gives me a little warning. I got zero out of two correct. So um, give me some hints here and there. But notice that it didn't take my score down. The cool thing about adaptive practice is that it does not matter how many questions I get wrong. As long as I get 10 correct questions, I'm OK. So in CK12 practice, if you get 10 questions correct, you get um, your full 10 points for that assignment. It doesn't matter if I got five questions wrong along the way, even if I got 20 questions wrong. Now, uh, it's impossible to get 20 questions wrong. I'll show you that why in a second. Um, but another cool thing about adaptive practice is that it gives you questions based on your previous answer. So if you got an answer correct, it gives you a harder question. It gives you an answer wrong, it may give you an easier question. So it tries to give you questions based on what you know. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, if I get enough of these questions wrong, a pop-up box will come up and say, you're not doing so good. Maybe you should go back and do the reading. In fact, it will go back and force you to either read a chapter, watch a video to kind of refresh your knowledge a little bit. Um, so take advantage of those pop-ups if you get one. Um, I'm going to get a couple more correct so I can show you how to turn in the assignment. Uh, someone's objective view or position is called an opinion. Scientific explanations and interpretations are not based on facts. That's false. Get one more correct. Which of the following is objective? I think data, theory, fact, or objective. Oh, I got one wrong. 
Well, okay, I got three out of 10 correct. I'm gonna stop right here. Don't wanna make the video too long. So let's say that I am trying to get 10 questions correct, but uh, three is the best I could do for now. Maybe I just gotta go. I gotta turn this assignment. It's gonna be late if I don't turn it in. Whatever, something's stopping you from getting all 10 correct. Hopefully you get more than three correct, but um, so what you do, even if you get 10 out of 10, there's gonna be a stop for now button up here. I'm gonna click stop for now. I'm just gonna be so I clicked stop for now, and it brings me back to the previous screen. And notice that on the right side now, it gives me some stats, some cool little things, tells me how well I did, how many questions, how many hard questions I got right, medium questions, easy questions. Um, so I'm gonna click on turn in. So this is very important. No matter what your score is, a low score or a high score, even if you get a 10 out of 10, you have to press turn in in order to turn in your assignment. Um, it's really important. Um, so click turn in. Are you sure? That's gonna ask you, are you sure? Google Classroom will always do this too. Are you sure you want to turn this in? Um, and it kind of tells Ryan to me that my score is only 30%. Um, but no matter what your score is, this pop up will come up. So please click, click on turn in again. It's gonna say submitting. Now, just because I turned in, like say if I got this 30%, man, that's a really low score. I want to do a better job. Um, hopefully, there we go. There's a turn in again button, so I can click keep over go over here and click on keep practicing and try to improve my score a little bit. As long as I get this assignment before the due date that I gave you guys, you can click on keep practicing and try to improve your score. Also, if you've already got 10 questions correct, lots of these practice sessions have more than 20 questions to work on. So you can work on as many questions as you want. It's not going to give you a higher score, but it's going to give you additional practice. Um, so that's CK12 practice. Um, the last part thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you uh, what an older version of CK12 looks like. Um, so I will show you that in just one second. <laughs> 